Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Beat Lift. Ah! And, uh, uh, just doing this tutorial because I've been getting a lot of requests for tutorials, people having trouble with automation, people having trouble with side chaining, people just, uh, some stuff not working out for them. Uh, had some kick tutorial requests because people want to know how I made this kick. Um, I don't know if I could show you exactly how to make that kick because that kick took me forever and I barely remember how I made it. <laughs> it was just a fucking shit ton of work and uh, that's what I ended up with. So, um, so I don't know if I'll try to show you exactly how I made that kick, but chances are um, I'll, I'll do another kick tutorial, but I'm not making any promises it'll be close to this kick. <laughs> um, but okay, I'll show you some side chaining, some automation, just uh, follow along carefully because uh, if you follow what I do, your automation and side chaining should be working. So. Let's just uh, did up a lead here, uh, just a raw lead that I made. Um, uh, so this is what it sounds like. <laughs> it's a simple short lead. So um, for those of you having trouble with automation. Uh, so, and uh, since I have two going, I'm gonna have to automate both of them. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna use my uh, low pass filter here uh, and use the cutoff uh, last tweet. Great automation clip. And this one, do the same. Make sure that's the one we touched last tweet. Create automation clip, and they'll both be there in the part I was selected. So make sure you have where you want to automate, make sure you have that section selected and um, using your selector tool here so and uh, the shortcut for your selector tool is shift E if you guys didn't know that shift B is your paintbrush, shift P is your pencil uh, shift C no, I don't know what that is never mind I just know those three <laughs> so i just do a simple build, give it some tension, let's go 15% tension on both of them. And then if you did this correctly, it should sound something like this. And another thing you could do to build tension in your leads is have it kind of like... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Or you can, here I'll show you. Let's bring these out here. So let's say you just kind of have it cut and then have it cut like that. Like, something like that. Um, hopefully you guys got the hang of it. I'll show you guys side chaining. Um, and you don't want to use your hard style kick as the trigger if you are using a hard style kick or even if you're using a kick with a long tail on it because uh, the side chain, the compressor will just constantly compress since the kick is so long and it won't, ha uh, the, uh, it won't give it room to breathe. So you want to use like a simple club kick like this. Whips. Let's put that on channel 12. So. And. Let's take. Where is it? I think the lead is on this one. It's going to take this off. 
so this is on so I just took this lead because it's easy to side chain with and uh, let's put kick in there whoops I'm all over the place today actually I'll just have that on repeat <laughs> So that's going. So and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our club kick in there, wherever the hell I put it. Where is it? Oh, there's not even a freaking name for it. Okay. So there we go. So we'll put our club kick in there, but nothing's going to happen. Here. As you can see, the club kick is going as well, but you don't want that. You want the club kick to be silent, so you'll turn it. So make sure I have the club kick on channel 12. So make sure you have channel 12 selected. And just turn it down here. And my lead is on this channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the limiter, and then I'm gonna go back to my channel 12 that has the club kick on it. Right click the arrow here, and go side chain to this track. And don't worry about that knob. And then I'm going to go back to my limiter here and go compressor and go bring this up and I guess usually it'll be one but sometimes if you're at sending more than one kick to the same channel it'll have two so I think it'll be two so and then so right now it's not going to do anything until you have the threshold and ratio down and stuff so so <clears throat> there's simple side chaining quick and easy um obviously i'm unorganized here doing this tutorial but uh shit all over the place nothing's named but make sure you keep everything organized and neat that way it's a lot easier to uh, continue with your song and go along with it and so there's side chaining uh, so and play around with the knobs get whatever sound sounds best to you so and I may as well, wait, I'll show you guys, uh, someone was having trouble with this, which is the EQ suite that I showed in one of my other videos. So here's my oscillator. I have it in my pattern. It's going here. So it's on channel 10. So I'll go to channel 10 and there's my EQ. So all I did to make it look like that was, was I selected this, pulled it down until it looked like that, and I grabbed this little dot here and pulled that down. So, and uh, see when I move this, it's moving this knob here. So it's moving that knob. So this is what you want to automate is this knob here. Uh, so it goes left to right. So this one right here. So um, and it's easy to automate, like just automate it however. So go right click, create automation clip. There's the automation clip there. You can have it go down. You could have it go up. Or you could have it go up and down, or down then up. I don't know why it's bent for me, stupid thing. A cool thing to do with this is uh, I've done this trick in my songs. Uh, is um, I've actually automated it from left to right. So let's, here's the panning here, same channel. I click automate. So 
And then now it's going to sound like this. Listen. Comes from the left and goes to the right. It's a cool little effect. You can try and use panning a lot because um, this is probably going to sound ridiculous. And it's just for fun right now. But yeah, I use panning a lot. Um, panning automation is awesome and it makes for a more fun. Makes for a more fun song. <clears throat> Okay, and let's say you uh, want to do live automation, so you want to automate by hand, essentially. So we're just going to let this play. This is probably going to be kind of annoying, so I'll bear with it. So make sure you're in record. Uh, you could have your 3, 2, 1, and this is make sure, so this is a count in. Uh, for when you have it in record, and this is your metronome right here to go along with your BPM, so your timing. And so what you can do, make sure you got this going, and this will be like live automating. So we'll play. Oops. Wow, that fucked up so bad. I have no idea what happened. Okay, let's try that again. What the fuck? Oh, I know why. Because this isn't long, so it's... Okay, let's make this longer. There. Now it should work. So, live automation. Once again, let's try this again. Make sure you have a blank pattern selected, otherwise it's going to screw with that pattern. So let's go pattern 7 because it's blank. So. Obviously I messed up there, but as you can see there's my automation, but since I had it on pattern 4 it's all messed up, I totally fucked that up, I'm sorry guys. But uh, there's my automation, <laughs> there, it's actually, uh, it's not automation, it's uh, event edit, but as you can see this will record, see, my terrible automation. <laughs> But you can do that with pretty much anything, I'm pretty sure. I don't use it often. Uh, but yeah, that's one way of doing things. Um, but these are kind of a pain to work with. I prefer to work with automation rather than uh, event edits. So, yeah. But I think you can turn it into automation, actually. So if I click on that, there it is. There's my event edit. It looks terrible. But I'm pretty sure you can go into here, go edit, and go turn into automation clip. That did absolutely nothing. Actually, it's right here. There it is. Cool. I've actually never really done that before, but the shitty thing is, look at how many <laughs> things it made. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, sorry, I kind of ADD there, but I hope this helped you guys. Um, let me know if you have any more requests, tutorial requests. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous what it did. I don't use that often, so sorry that that wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys need more help. Message me. Feel free to message me, and I'll try to help you as best I can. And as far as a new kick tutorial goes, I will do one. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get it close to that kick, but that is my kick, 100% me. Um, so, uh, have a good one, guys. Um, hope this helped. Peace out. Later.